Eorzea, Summertime, Fireworks. These three things can mean only one thing. It means that the popular Summertime Festival has returned to this great land, and it's time for us to once again celebrate it. This year, with a little twist that is definitely going to be something that is truly unique and has never been seen before within any special events in this game, and this will certainly be something to look forward to, just like the fancy fireworks that are a part of this event. So, with that in mind, and with that convenient ending to that particular display, Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Navarra Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, and our little special events hero, Rika Sasaki, has decided she's bringing out the big guns this time around, but we're not gonna need those for what we're doing this time, because we are now at the time of the year where the Moonfire Fair has arrived, and we're gonna be going to check it out over at Costa del Sol, but before we do, we of course have to be sent that way by Chaperone Mayaru Moyaru. So let's go ahead and speak with him for the level 30 challenge entitled, Jump to the Beach. Mayaru Moyaru would invite you to prove your skills in the ultimate test of acrobatic aptitude. And I know what you're thinking, like, doesn't that sound like the Go-Go Posing Rangers from two years ago? Well, not exactly. Why, if it isn't Rika! How long has it been? A year? More, perhaps. I think the last time I saw you was also during the Moonfire Fair. Well, that is true. Don't tell you you've forgotten it already. The festival was originally held to recruit adventurers to combat a Bombard invasion, but we gave them such a thrashing that they've hardly been seen since. Bombards or no, we still hold the event each year, providing wholesome fun for the whole family. That's not all. It's an opportunity for members of the Adventurers Guild to demonstrate their skills to fairgrowers, and thereby, ins thereby inspire others to join our ranks. I bet you know a trick or two, am I right? Then why not head to Costa del Sol and show them what a real adventurer looks like? When you get there, just head for the gigantic wooden- Oh, <laughs> I nearly spoiled the surprise! Well, you'll just have to go and see it for yourself! And trust me, you'll know it when you see it. Talk to the chaperones nearby, and they'll have you performing feats of daring do before you can say seven snippy snippers snipped several splendid subligars! And I can't believe I pulled that tongue twister off. I am very proud of myself, so let's make our way to Costa del Sol. Yeah, I don't know how I accidentally clicked on L3 to draw my weapon. Yeah, because I was trying to, of course, get the um, perspective that allows me to go and get the look that gives me the first person perspective, of course. So yeah, of course, since we're going to Costa del Sol, if you remember from last year's Moonfire Fair, that also means we're going to take a visit to the Isle of End this summer. But, yeah, you'll notice that the main part of the Isle of End this summer has been moved over here. That's because it's been expanded since last year, and a brand new island has been added. And yeah, if you're wondering what happened to the other isle, well, we'll allow the cover of darkness to conceal the surprise for now. So let's run over to Hermaga of the Go-Go Posing Rangers, who can lead us in the right direction for what we're gonna do. Rika! How cool it is to see you, friend! The Moonfire Fair wouldn't be the same without you, and we've got a treat for you, and have we got a treat for you? Yeah, observe to the right. This thing. Rising from the pristine sands and virgin waters of Costa del Sol, a wooden monstrosity so imposing, so unforgiving that all but the most courageous warriors will run crying to their mammies. It can only be the Eosia Nimble Warrior Course. Yeah. <laughs> Recognize the similarities to American Ninja Warrior? <laughs> yeah, I think you would.
And over here, the event is sponsored by the ever magnanimous Master Gigarushu. Under its watchful eye, no harm will come to our brave contestants. Or to the scantily clad ladies he seems to be ogling at present. Wherever they may be. <laughs> or his friend who does the exact same thing. Um, <laughs> where was I? Oh yes, to become a true Aeosian nimble warrior, you must let nothing stand between you and your goal. This is the attitude we wish to instill in all aspiring adventurers. Through your example, we aim to teach them that there is no obstacle that cannot be overcome so long as you have discipline and determination. And a strong pair of legs. They'll be jumping. Lots of it. You may observe other challenges in meeting whales and calces, but these things are not the key to success. Nay, you'll need to rely upon an impeccable sense of balance, uncanny awareness of your surroundings, limitless patience, the acrobatic ability of an Opo Opo. Well, there are a few other things, but I'll leave it at that. Wouldn't want you to get the scourge before you even started now, would we? Once you banished any lingering apprehensions, I'll be happy to sign you up. Did I mention that we even have prizes for completing the course? See, so yeah, I must officially complete the quest now by unlocking another cutscene. So you think you got all it takes to me in the Eosian Nimble Warrior? That's the spirit. I'm sure the spectators can't wait to see your action. And, along the way, some more people arrive. Um, excuse me, I'm here to register for the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course. Am I in the right place? You are indeed, but you do realize it's only open to fully fledged members of the Adventurers Guild. No offense, Lord, but you seem a bit too wet behind the ears to be allowed to join. And Herr Mark, where'd you accumulate all those scars? My brother is going to be the bestest adventurer in the whole wide world! While it's true that I'm not an adventurer yet, if there's one thing I'm good at, it is jumping. Will you at least let me try? Sorry, son. If I'm anything about to happen to you. Uh, please! I would give anything for a chance to become an Eorzee Nimble Warrior. If I cannot enter, it will break my heart, I shall throw myself from the top of the tower, and my sister will cry until the end of an eternity and... Alright, enough. I'll register you, but don't say I didn't warn you. The Eorzee Nimble Warrior course is no joke. If you do yourself a mischief and I get the blame for it, I'll have you hanging from the tower by your tail. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. To be on the safe side, Rika here will go first and show you how it's done. There's no shame in backing down once you see how stiff a challenge it truly is. Thank you. I'll show repay your generosity with an acrobatic display of the likes of which the world has never seen. Oh, well, my manners. I'm Wilful Tia, and this is my sister, Ramaya. It is our pleasure to meet you. I'm looking forward to seeing how a real adventurer tackles the course, and once you are done, it is my turn. I hope you don't fall in the water. We'll do what we can to try to not to. Haha, <laughs> you and me both. Now let Bodo Fred know when you're ready, and be careful out there, understood? You got it there, Hamaga. So, by completing this quest, we get 7,410 experience, plus a new emote, Splash. Which I think you can pretty much guess how Splash is used, and where you would use it. So we should be getting another um, quest icon, at least, oh yeah, it's over here. Yeah, we want to run over, yeah, where they said to go speak with Hermaga's fellow ranger, Bodofwen. Where we'll take on the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course. So, are you ready to face the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course to risk it all for a chance at glory? If so, you've come to the right place. Before you begin, allow me to explain the rules. The course is divided into three parts, which you'll have to complete in order. There is but one objective, to reach the chaperones standing on the platforms. You can take as long as you need, and if you fall off, just go back to the beginning of that section to try again. The first chaperone you need to reach is Zhongo, who will tell you where to go next. Just jump into the jet of water and make us proud! Alright, so here we go. So for the first section, 
it's pretty straightforward. You have to jump at the right time and not fall off. And they do add some angles and some people who are struggling. Yeah, we don't want to go that way. We don't want to go that way. Yeah, if you time it right, you can nail this. Yeah, the wider jumps, time your shot so that you're staying on the black. But there, we got to Janango. Oh, well done. But don't stop pat yourself on the back yet. There's still a long way to go. Once you've caught your breath, make your way towards Hildalana at the end of the second section. Best of luck. And so now we gotta make our way to the third go-go posing ranger. Hello everyone, enjoying yourselves? Heck, there was even a male or Ross standing there. Now this one, we're gonna have to, as you can see, this one's a snaking path, but there's also some twists to it as well, plus a picky a pick your poison spot. What we're gonna do is we're going to um I pressed the wrong button. I pressed X for whatever reason instead of triangle. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. I had a brain cramp. So now we wanna go and get the overhead angle right. Now we're going to want to zoom in here a little, because now, now we're going to have to start the j jumping. <gasps> I don't know why I almost looked like f I fell off. Parts lose to ninjas over my dead body. Yeah, if your math is good, you should be able to get this. And there we go. Hey, Helena. Such poise, such grace, a fun demonstration of what members of the guild are capable of. However, I must save my most heartfelt congratulations for when you have conquered the third and final stage. Luckily for me, I will have the perfect view of your ascent to the top. Good luck! Alright. And there we will have to find Pobiano. Now for this last part, as you can see, it's not jumping over water as much as it is going along this wall. Yeah, someone's trying to be fancy. <laughs> yeah, someone named Sour Cream and Onion, and I got stuck on the wall. Which I'm actually trying to use as a strategy because in my test run, um, I actually used running along the wall as a legit strategy. And it did work. Alright, now here's the hard part. Getting onto this little platform over here. But we got it. Yeah, of course we want to do our best to try and not overshoot. But there we go. Hey, Pobiano, we made it. Oh, you did it! I knew you would! Right from the start, I had a good feeling about you. I couldn't help but follow your progress every step of the way. And it seems I wasn't the only one. You and your, your young friends jump for joy when you reach the top. That reminds me, you better let uh, go and let Helmaga know that you've finished the course. He struggles to watch the competitors and handle all the registrations, so we ask all successful entrants to report to him afterwards. It helps us keep track of things. You don't have to hurry though, I think you've earned a respite after all of your exploits. And watch your footing on the way down, we can't have you breaking your legs in front of everybody. That would certainly take the shine off of your achievements. And so, by completing the quest, we get some fireworks. But yeah, as you'll notice, there is an extension that people are attempting. Now, I don't know if this is actually... Um, if this is actually part of um, an additional quest that you can do. I have not had the time to look at this myself. Um, but, as you can see, yeah, we don't want to hurt ourselves too much. Yeah, I think it's actually faster to just warp to Costa del Sol and then just jump over to um, the next area. Yeah, if there is a bonus part to this, I will show it off in tonight's live stream. So 
So yeah, let's make our way back over. We gotta let Hermaga know that the task has been done. And that the fireworks are still shooting off. Yeah, we don't need to worry about fireworks to die today. Yeah, like I said, if there is a bonus element to this, then I will show it off in the live stream tonight. So yeah, we've certainly kept Himago waiting for us, so let's make it back over to him. And we'll take on his last challenge I called, If at first you don't succeed, give up? Yeah, that phrase doesn't sound right. Himago wishes to shower you with praise while Willful Tia prepares to tackle the obstacle course. The heroes at hand! I was watching intently from start to finish. A truly breathtaking display of Ferrara was won. That was incredible! I've never seen anything like it! I want to try it too! <laughs> Maybe when you're a bit bigger, Missy. How about you, fool? It's not too late to change your mind. I think not. Witnessing Rika's spectacular victory has lit a fire in my soul. Today I shall fulfill my destiny. Fame and glory, here I come! Wait, there's one last thing I... I did have a few words of advice for him, but perhaps he won't need it. Hopefully he will have learned a thing or two from you, Rika. Still, I can't help but worry for the lad. Will you keep an eye on him? I believe I can do that for you. I'm coming too! Alright there, Ramaya. And so away we go. We want to make our way over here. So let's chill out for a while. Yeah, there's our man with full getting all stretched out. Ah, here I go! And he's off. Leaping into the jet of water. And falling just as quickly. Damn. I think we need to help him before he drowns. Fool! Oh no, we have to help him! Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think we need to do so too, yeah. The virus is gonna have to wait here. Alright, we're full. At least we got you, you were able to pull yourself out of the water. I might have been a little overzealous. After all my grand words, what a fool I must look. I still have a long way to go. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? It's not funny. You're just a big stupid face. Yeah, where'd that come from? Maya, whatever has gotten into her? Yeah, she's like, don't just stand there and go after her, or she doesn't seem to like big, stupid faces. Well, let's do the responsible thing here. Go after her before she runs off. Right, uh, where did she run off to now? Uh, please help me look for her. And yeah, we gotta go back on to shore in order to find her. So, let's warp back. You know what the hardest thing about this is? The entire time that I've been recording this entire video, I've been having constantly having tears coming out of my left eye. I don't know what's causing it, but I'm fortunate that I've been able to get a lot of this stuff while, that's, while this has been happening. I do not know why it's happening the way it is. Yeah. Now that we're back over on the other side, Ma Maya, what's going on? Maya, what's the matter? Away, stupid face! It's no use. She won't talk to me. Well, you leave me no choice. There's only one way to deal with sulky little girls. Hmm? 
Come on, Rika. Slush some water on her to make her laugh. Yeah, remember the emote we just got? Well, now we're gonna go ahead and use it. Don't say we didn't warn you. That's <laughs> cold! So, is Miss Sulky going to tell me why she ran off? I'm sorry, Rika. You're not cross with me, are you? Yeah, no chance. It's just that after the festival, my brother's going on a long journey to become an adventurer. Long journey? What gave you that idea? I heard you talking about it with Mummy, and I know how much you want to be an adventurer. You didn't tell me because you thought I'd be sad. I'm right, aren't I? I've known all this time, and it does make me sad, but I wouldn't want you to give up on your dream for me. That's why I told myself not to cry. I thought you'd be upset when you fell in the water, but you were laughing. You're right, I should have taken it more seriously, especially since you and Rika came to watch me. But I am serious about becoming an adventurer. You see, Rika, we don't have a father, so I help our mother look after Maya. I realized that I needed to become a man, to become strong enough to support my family. I just didn't know how. But when I went to the Moonfire Fair a few years ago, and saw the Cascadiers drive off those dreadful bombards, I discovered my calling in life, to become an adventurer. If I was as brave as the heroes of the Adventurers Guild, I could protect my family from harm. I could provide for them. As my first step towards becoming an adventurer, the Moonfire Fair presented the perfect opportunity. What better way to prove my worth than by overcoming the Eorzean nimble course? But I was so eager to prove myself I got carried away, and you know the rest. I humiliated myself in front of everyone, so I tried to laugh it off. I didn't know what else to do. I never meant to upset you, Maya. But I haven't given up hope. What do you think, Rika? If I keep training, do you think that I could make it as an adventurer? Yeah. Great oaks from little acorns grows the same goes, or there isn't much call for big stupid faces, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we're gonna be responsible about this. Even if it is the lighthearted and playful Rika. Little acorns? Are you saying I should become a botanist? <laughs> uh, I think I understand now. Uh, yes, I shall do my utmost to one day become a great oak. Maya, you were right about a lot of things. It's true. I am going to be away from home for a while, and my face... Yes, it probably is a bit st stupid looking from time to time. I didn't mean it. Your face is fine how it is. Well, most of the time anyway. But if you're going away, will you make me promise? Don't die, no matter what. You don't have to be a hero, just be... Just be safe, that's all I want. Very well, Maya. I promise I will never die. Mm, well, not anytime soon at least. Now that's settled, I think it's time for us to go home. Thank you so much! See you again! Well, don't go running! Not again. Before I chase after my sister again, I'd like to thank you. You're the kind of adventurer I aspire to be, and it was an honor to meet you. There's one thing, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that actions speak louder than words. That's right, isn't it? Indeed it is. Yes, maybe I should be aspired to be the strong silent type too. Something to work on as I embark on my, on my journey. But before I leave, I would like to spend some time with my family. Please give my regards to Helmaga and the others. Till we meet again. And so away he goes. Yeah, 
And yeah, as of course we look upon a sunny day as the sun has risen here in Costa del Sol, let's make our way back. <laughs> yeah, see if we can outrun the bunny girl here. Yeah, it's a race! Oh, yeah, just beat her to the shore. Just beat her out. But she's gonna get ahead of me to her MAGA, though. Welcome back. I trust all as well. Yes, it is. Here's what happened. Oh, he decided to become an adventurer after seeing the Moonfire Affair. Well, if that isn't a testament to the festival's power to inspire, I don't know what is. It warms the cockles of my heart, it does. And as for you, you've helped to make the festival a huge success. After all the casualties we've had, I was worried the guild would accuse us of constructing a death trap. We've had a few minor maimings too, but no one's died yet. That has to count for something, eh? Of course, this year's Moonfire Fair is far from over. So why not stay and soak up the atmosphere? You can even run the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course again if you feel so inclined. On behalf of all the chaperones, you have a heartfelt gratitude. And so with it, we'll take another 7410 experience, plus the Endless Summer Coffer. So this is basically a set of looks that will be the look for the Moonfire Fair 2018. So we got sandals, a bottom, a top, and glasses. So let's see what this all looks like. Yeah, sunglasses, baby. May need to. Oh no, there it is. I was wondering where that was. And I need to check through all the other stuff here to find. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this looks different. Yeah, there we go. And there's the sandals. Alright. I wonder if this has a, an emote set on it. I wonder if there's a... Visor emote. Yep, there. you can put the glasses up to make it look a little more fancy. But yeah, there we go. We got our little look for the Moonfire Fair for this year. Yeah. Let Rika show it off a little. Yeah, there we go. We have our Moonfire Fair look for 2018, and I dare say that even in the sun that this thing is gonna look pretty sweet, as I'm sure you'll agree. In fact, we should probably turn the camera over so that Rika can be... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, really show it off in the sun. So, yeah, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this edition of the Moonfire Fair for Final Fantasy XIV in 2018. So, I'll look forward to seeing you guys t with tonight's live stream, and if there's more to this Moonfire Fair event, we will certainly show it off, and we'll see if there's where everyone else was going earlier is an extension of the event, and if there's more prizes that are involved with it. So, thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novor Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.